Ask Lou is brought to you by Ace Hardware, delivering helpful hardware service since 1924. Ace, the helpful place. Here's a web question from Donna. I have a small chip in the front of my Formica countertop. How do you repair it? I've asked the lumber company that we got it from, but they had no answer. It's only nine months old. Oh, Donna, I'm sorry about the chip in your Formica. You know, laminate is a great product for a countertop, but when you do get a chip or a crack or a scratch, there's not much you can do to repair it, but you can hide it. The answer is before you. It's nail polish. Now, the great thing about nail polish is it's super hard and comes in a gazillion colors. So depending on the color of your top, find a nail polish that is close to that color and then put a few thin layers to fill in that chip and then stick it in a drawer. That way when it wears out, you can patch it again. And you can go get a manicure too. Hey Lou, I'm Steve from Queens. Uh, I've got some questions about a hardwood floor. Uh, it's a little old, a little water damaged maybe. I need to get it refinished. Should I do it myself or should I pay somebody? And if I pay somebody, how much do you think it's gonna cost me? So Steve, I'm a pretty handy guy. I've actually sanded hardwood floors once in my life and I did a terrible job. The reason is the stuff that you can rent to redo a floor is not the same that the professionals use. Theirs use these giant 240 motors. They actually plug it right into your electrical box. Nobody's gonna rent you something like that. And you're gonna spend all this time and effort and have this wavy floor that looks awful. So definitely leave that to the professionals and plan on spending anywhere from about a buck 70 to as much as $3 a square foot to refinish a floor depending on where you live. But if you wanna try doing something yourself and just bring back that shine, take a look at these two products. These are actually floor polishes. You go ahead and clean that floor really well and then you apply these polishes and you're gonna see that luster and shine come back. We're talking about spending 10, $15 here to do an entire floor versus what could be thousands of dollars to re-sand it. So it's definitely something to consider. Hi Lou, my name's Rosalyn and I'm from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I've got a question for you. I've accidentally spilled dark navy blue paint on my white living room carpet. What's the best way to get that out? Rosalyn, it had to be dark blue paint on white carpeting. You're killing me here. Okay, this is gonna call for some extreme measures. Now there's a product called Goof Off, which is awesome. It takes care of a lot of messes, in particular dried latex paint. And you can use it on carpeting, but white carpeting, eh, it may discolor it. So, I mean, depending on what it looks like, you can give this a try. But if it works, then great. If it doesn't work and it yellows it, then you gotta do what they do in the carpet business. They take a dish, they go over that area. With a sharp utility knife, they cut out the carpeting. Then they go inside a closet or under a couch. They take the same dish and cut around that and swap the pieces. You put some carpet tacks in place, you kind of ruffle it with your hands, and you'd never know that that carpeting has been swapped out. Good luck.